Comets are the most primitive objects in the solar system. Their makeup has hardly changed since they were formed, and so they reflect the solar system when it was very young. That's more than four and a half billion years ago. Comets are extremely interesting because what they represent are, if you like, fossils from the time that the solar system was formed. In 2004, the European Space Agency launched Rosetta, a pioneering mission to send a spacecraft to rendezvous with a comet. Rosetta's a, a milestone in space exploration because so far uh, a number of craft have visited uh, comets, but um, none of them have actually yet uh, stayed with a comet for some considerable time. And uh, what Rosetta's going to do is, is, is not only travel with the comet as it heads in towards the sun, but it's also going to deposit a, a small lander onto the surface, which will go down and stay there and make scientific measurements uh, on the surface, and, and then hopefully beam us back some uh, very important and interesting results. The data Rosetta sends back will attempt to answer many scientific questions about the solar system, and even the origins of life on Earth. The actual nucleus itself uh, of a comet is extremely interesting to, to scientists. It's basically a big sort of icy dirt ball or a dirty snowball. What it represents is pristine material left over from the formation of the solar system. In other words, it's all about four and a half billion years old and it's been sitting in a deep freeze in, in space uh, ever since that time. During its 10-year voyage, Rosetta will travel 30 times the distance from the Earth to the Sun, circling the Sun nearly four times. Rosetta will enter the asteroid belt twice and gain the speed required for the journey from gravitational slingshots as it performs close flybys of Mars and Earth. Rosetta will approach the comet in 2014 and send a lander onto the surface of the comet. The lander contains numerous scientific instruments, including one known as Ptolemy, designed and built at the Open University. Ptolemy is a unique instrument. It's a, a small shoebox-sized analytical laboratory. Uh, th there's a model here for scale. Uh, if this was in the laboratory, it would be about 100 times the size of this. This shoebox device weighs about four kilograms, and it's on its way now to the comet. A drill mines a section of the comet's core, which is then passed into one of Ptolemy's ovens, where it turns into gas. The gas is then analysed, the results beam back to the lander and then to Earth. What we're going to do with the, the Ptolemy uh, instrument is make measurements uh, of things called isotopes. So what we might be interested in the case of a comet, for instance, is what is the isotopic composition of the water that's present? and by measuring the isotopes, we can ultimately work out the source of the water. And what we're particularly interested in and intrigued by uh, is to find out whether there's a relationship between the water that we can see in comets now and the water that we have on Earth. Clearly, if we can demonstrate that relationship, um, we will then know that some of the other things that are present in comets uh, would have been present uh, on the early Earth and would have been part of the whole process that ultimately led to life.